More of them are coming out. That's bad news, Leo. Honeybees will die after they sting, but not wasps. They can sting multiple times. You better run. There's some water. Let's take out our snorkel masks and jump right in. The honeybee. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I'm a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. It's a perfect day for a picnic. We have chocolate cookies, cakes, apples, and bananas. And look, I even have your favorite doggy snacks. Not so fast, Hero. We have to wait for Katie. Let me call her. A bee? <coughs> hey, don't go near the cakes. <coughs> Hero, careful. You're knocking over all the food. I wonder where it came from. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. We were about to have our picnic in the garden, but there's a bee that seems to like our cakes. Hi, Leo. I've received your photo. It seems to like cake a lot. It sure does. Can you find more information about it? Yes, I can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. This bee is a honeybee. A honeybee? Yes, a honeybee. There are many different types of bees. But this one is an eastern honeybee. It has distinct golden yellow and brown stripes across its body. Where do they come from? Eastern honeybees come from South and Southeast Asia. They can be found in many countries. There, the honeybees collect nectar from flowers by eating the nectar. When these worker honeybees return to the beehive, they give the nectar to other worker honeybees. These honeybees will put the nectar in the honeycomb cells and use their wings to fan it. This will change the nectar into honey. The bees will use the honey as a food source. So that's how honey's made. Hey, what kind of shape is that? That's a hexagon. Honeycomb cells are shaped that way because they use the least amount of beeswax to build a beehive. Honeybees prefer to build their beehives in small spaces, like hollow trees. Hmm. If we want to have a peaceful picnic, we should bring this honeybee back to its beehive. Come and join us. That's great, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the forest. Ah, is that a honeybee? Yes, Ranger Rocky. We are trying to bring him back to his beehive. Not him, Leo. This is a female bee. It's a she. This is clear from her yellow stripes. And all worker bees are female. Worker bees are responsible for gathering nectar, building the honeycomb cells, feeding the babies, tending to the queen bee. There's a queen? Yes, the queen makes all the baby bees. 
It has a longer body and smaller wings. The male bees, also known as drones, are rounder in shape and have bigger eyes. These drones only have one job, which is to help queen bees from other beehives make babies. The drones don't have a sting like the female worker bees do. A uh, sting Honeybees only sting if they feel their beehive is in danger. These hard-working creatures just want to protect their colony. Where can we look to help this honeybee find her colony, Ranger Rocky? Hmm, bees are attracted to brightly colored flowers. Perhaps you can start looking for those. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a field with a lot of flowers. And on this side is a forest with a lot of trees. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a field with a lot of flowers. And over there is a forest with a lot of trees. So where should we go? There, that's right. We need to go to the field with flowers because bees are attracted to brightly colored flowers. Let's go. Here we are at the flower field. I see flowers, butterflies, birds, but no bees. Let's try to look for a beehive in a tree. What is it, Hero? You already found a beehive? Great work. But this bee looks a bit different, though. Careful, Junior Rangers. That's not a honeybee. That's a wasp. And unlike the honeybee, a wasp can be very aggressive. Oh no! More of them are coming out! That's bad news, Leo. Honeybees will die after they sting, but not wasps. They can sting multiple times. You better run! Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Welcome to the game show on everyone's lips. It's time for... Contestants want to answer questions on the world. Get it right, and they will win an all expense paid trip to Triangle Aliens Planet. Joining us today are our mistress of melody, Cherry, friendly fixer upper, Fluffy, and the Imp. Today's first topic is Mystery Country. Whoever solves the question will be one step closer to our grand prize. Not to worry, because everyone gets to walk away with loads of fun today! So if everyone is ready, where in the world is this? Your first clue is... Songcram, the countrywide water fight marking the new year. Make sure you have a bucket ready and prepare to get splashed. The tradition is meant to wash away the misfortunes from the previous year and welcome the new one. But that's not the answer. Your second clue is Pad Thai, the stir-fried rice noodle dish known to use all five tastes. Salty, sour, sweet, spicy, and bitter, making it unforgettable. Here's a hint. The clue is in the name. Imp, huh? you are correct. Aha. Today's mystery country is Thailand. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, that was our show. So much to see and so much to learn. Come back and find out more at Where in the World. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Remember to aim and kick hard. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. It's time to get ready for our picnic lunch with Mr. Dragon. We just have to practice a few karate kicks first, Paula. Cool. Show us, show us. Check this out. hi -ya! One karate kick, hiya! Two karate kicks, and here's a special flying kick, hiya! Three karate kicks. That flying kick was awesome. That looks really hard to do. Nah, it's easy. Any martial arts person can do it, except Toby. He's too weak. But you guys are older and stronger than me. Of course you can do it easily. Stop giving excuses, Toby. Now you do the flying kick. But I, I... Just do it. Don't be weak. Okay. 
Here goes. Mm -hmm. Hi! Yeah! Ow! <gasps> Toby, are you okay? Ow! My leg hurts. Oh no! What do we do? Water. I'll get you water. Uh, sure. Here you go. Are you okay now? Um, not really. Ow! It's so painful. I don't think I can walk. Oh no! I'll get you a chair and pillow. And I'll get a fan to keep you cool. Don't worry, Toby. Everything will be okay. We're back! Is this good? What else can we do to help you feel better? Um, guys, it's almost time for our lunch with Mr. Dragon, and we're still not ready yet. Oh, yes! We need to get the food from Mama Ling's stall and then walk up the mountain. Hurry, let's go! Hold on, guys. What about Toby? He can't walk. Oh, um, Toby? Maybe you don't have to go. What? But I don't want to stay here all by myself. You guys hurt my leg, so you have to figure out a way for me to join you. Okay. But what should we do? I know. Calc, could you get those bamboo poles? Ha ha ha! This ride is awesome! <sighs> We're here! <sighs> Put me down! <sighs> Gently! <sighs> We made it! You're a lot heavier than you look, Toby! Don't say that, Ming! It made my leg hurt even more! Wait for us here, Toby! We'll be right out with the food for our lunch with Mr. Dragon! Oh, what a cute cat! Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! Thanks for the oh. food, Mama Ling! Hello, Toby! How are you? I heard you hurt your leg! Yes, my leg is really painful! Here, have a steamed bun. Thanks, Mama Ling. It must be awful being hurt. Yeah, real awful. Take a break. Whoa, careful! You rest, Ming. Calc can carry the chair with Lee. Calc's super strong. Whoa! Nope, no way. Ming has to do it. But I'm tired. You wouldn't have to carry me at all if you guys hadn't forced me to do that flying kick earlier. It's all your fault. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Okay. Guys, we need to pick some flowers for Mr. Dragon. Thanks for reminding us, Chucky. Oh, that's right. This will give your brothers some time to rest, Toby. Okay, fine. But hurry up. I'm hungry. We won't be long. Ah, it's nice to stretch my legs. Hey, is that the picnic basket? I wonder what yummy food we have. Oh, it's the empty basket. I'll get the <gasps> basket for the flowers, Billy. Hi, Toby. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's great. Did you manage to find some flowers? Yes, we did. I'm just getting the basket to put them in. We'll be back very soon. Phew. Oh, look, a butterfly. <laughs> Whoa, ouch. Was that you, Toby? What are you doing out of your chair? I was um, worried about you guys and wanted to look for you. Oh, but my leg. Huh. I thought it was your other leg. Huh? Oh, the pain's getting worse. It has spread to both legs. That's bad. Will it spread to me too? I don't think it works that way, Tim. Hmm. Something's not quite right here. Guys, why don't we arrange these flowers nicely for Mr. Dragon? Over here. Sure, Paula. I know what to do. We could put these flowers together. Stop worrying about the flowers, Tim. I called you guys over here because I think Toby 
is lying about his leg being hurt. Are you sure? But we saw him fall down and everything. I'll prove it. Here's what we'll do. Go to Mr. Dragon's, and then I'll say... Hello, children. Ready for our picnic? Oh, my. Toby, what happened to you? I'm so hungry. I mean, my leg really hurts. And that's why we're going to pick more flowers for Toby, to make him feel better. Can you join us, Mr. Dragon? Of course. I'd love to. But I don't need flowers. I'm hungry. Let's just eat now. It won't take long. I promise. You know what to do, Calc. I'll just leave this basket of Mama Ling's delicious food here. We'll be right back, Toby. I'm so hungry. Maybe I'll just take a little bite. Huh? Hey, stop moving. Ha-ha, I've got you now. And it looks like we've got you. Busted! Uh-oh. Uh, ow? Give it up, Toby. We know your leg's okay. Why did you pretend you couldn't walk, Toby? We were really worried about you. Everybody was being so nice to me because they thought I was hurt. I like it when you guys are nice to me. A dog may pretend to be a tree, but it still barks when it smells a cat. Huh? huh? That means you can't keep the truth hidden forever. It's always better to be honest right from the start. You're right, Mr. Dragon. I shouldn't have tricked you guys. I guess we can try being nicer so that you don't have to trick us like this ever again. Yeah, I'll teach you how to do the flying karate kick when we get back. Thanks, guys. Now that that's done, let's eat. Oh, no. Our lunch is all messed up. I could run back down the mountain to get more food. Or I could just fly us to Mobbling Stall. Awesome. We get to ride a dragon. Hop on, everyone. Hang on tight. Yay! We're flying. Best ride ever. I see flowers, butterflies, birds, but no bees. Let's try to look for a beehive in a tree. What is it, Hero? You already found a beehive? Great work. But this bee looks a bit different, though. Careful, Junior Rangers. That's not a honeybee. That's a wasp. And unlike the honeybee, a wasp can be very aggressive. Oh no! More of them are coming out! That's bad news, Leo. Honeybees will die after they sting, but not wasps. They can sting multiple times. You better run! There's some water. Let's take out our snorkel masks and jump right in. That was close. Oh no, where's the honeybee? The jar is gone. 
It's the honeybee. She's hiding in a honeysuckle flower. Come in, honeybee. We'll make sure we stay far away from those wasps. Where should we go to find a beehive? Ranger Rocky! If you want to find a beehive, just look for a tree with a hollow. Not for a graceful swallow or a spicy taco, but look for a tree with a hollow. I see. So not for a graceful swallow or a spicy taco, but, but look, look for, for a tree, tree with, with a, a hollow. hollow. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a beehive, you have to look for a tree with a hollow. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a beehive. Is that a beehive? No, that's a bush with flowers. So let's continue. Can you see what that is? Yes, it's a bird's nest. So we should look somewhere else. What is that? Is that a tree with a hollow? Yes, it is. And there's a beehive. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. Goodbye, bee. We did it. We found the beehive of the honeybee. Yay! <laughs> found a honeybee in our garden. We learned that honeybees have workers, a queen, and drones, and that they make honey. So we went to a forest and found a tree with a hollow that contains a hive. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. <laughs>